And you are just getting beat up. I just instantly crit you. I hit you with one attack. <laughs> See you later. Hello, my name is Chinchi. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to Grounded. Today we're starting over at the new base that I'm building. I have not had much time in between episodes to get much done uh, because of the holidays, but we're starting over here because the little that I could get done in between episodes was work on the assassin mutation a little bit. I got it up to level two, so we have to get it to level three. So we're going to head over to the termites for three reasons. One, I use the termite pieces for repair glue. Two, I want to see if we can snag any of the gold cards from any of the termites. And three, I want to kill the termite king once again so that I'll be able to craft the stuffed termite king because I really want that as decoration. After taking on the termites, I want to attempt to get more of the super mixers done in the upper yard. I think we have only two left and depending on how long they take, will determine how many we can get done in this episode. So that's the goals. So we're going to get right to it. So I don't expect this to be too terribly difficult. However, the termites are resistant to slashing and we don't have our salty crystal on us because I completely forgot about it. So it could take us a little longer to kill these guys than it would had I brought either the salty crystal or were to be using the rusty spear. But that's okay. We have to do it for assassin. So let's just kind of test here. Don't spit at me. Yeah, so it might take a little bit. Probably can't take on a whole entire group, but we'll just take our time. No need to rush. <laughs> I was just slapping him around. I am super curious to see how much more damage we would do with the salt crystal. But do I really want to go all the way back home to grab it? No, no. If I, if I had a zipline set up, sure. But I don't. Hello, termites. Today is not your day. Gosh, it always takes me by surprise how many termites there actually are in this place. And that's probably not even half of them. They do do quite a bit of damage when I don't block. So it's a good thing I brought all these heals. I didn't bring any food with me, which could have been a mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and fight the Termite King before clearing out the rest of the Termite Hill, just so I don't lose half my stamina before I even start fighting the Termite King. All right, well, the Termite King has spotted us. Ow. And you are just getting beat up. Oh my goodness. See you later. I don't think I ever knew there was a milk mower up here on this bike, but I do now. Oh no. Ah, we're fine. 
Now I do need to head home because as you can see our dagger is already almost broken. And I've had a lot of people ask me what difficulty I'm playing on. Mostly it's on the episodes where I'm using nothing but my fist. Hang on, I'm hungry. Means come here, dinner. Hey, where you on? Gotcha. But yeah, it's mostly on the episodes where I'm only using my fist. And I play on medium. As I've said before, I play on medium because it's my first time playing through the game. And I just want to casually experience the game. And it's been a whole lot of fun. A lot of people get confused and think that it's on easy mode, but I guarantee you. Go try that build out and you'll see just how easy the game becomes. So I'm crafting five mighty jewels and I'll need to find some more supreme quartz in order to craft another five so I can max out the widow dagger to level nine. Now I do believe there's another little cave over by the termite hill where there are more termites to take out. I have no idea what's down there in that little cave, so I want to go explore it. And I brought my shiny salt crystal this time because I'm very curious to see how much of a difference that'll make. Well, I'm gonna go try and find this place and I'll meet you when I get there. Hey buddy, can I have your horn please? Ow. Ow. Yo, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not even trying to block. Come on now, there we go. Ow. See you later, dude. Thanks for the horn. Yeah, that was silly. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to fight our way over there to this to this cave. Oh, well. Oops. All right, get out of here. Come on. Ah, crap. So here's the little cave I was talking about. I have no idea what all is down here, but we're gonna go find out. Oh, I don't ever bring bombs. And I don't guess we get to grab any of this stuff without bombs. And here's some Supreme Quartzite. But yeah, I just never bring bombs with me. I don't ever think about it. I just don't want to fill my inventory with more stuff that I have to carry around constantly. I do have some back at the base, but we'll just come back to that some other time. But while we're here, I finally have enough lint rope to finish the first floor of the build. Oh my gosh, that took so incredibly long. But the first floor is now done. Let's go. Oh, hello, sir. I was just passing through, but if you're going to be a roadblock, I will push through you. Ow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thanks for the horn. Honestly, I <laughs> I just, I was already so bad at blocking in this game. And then taking a little bit of break, the holidays, come back, and I just, I have no idea how to block anymore. It's gone. I was starting to get okay at it, and now it's just terrible. So here is the super mixer. I'm going to set up some defenses, same as I always do, and we'll see how well we can hold up here. Okay, so here are our defenses for this super mixer. Basically the same as every other super mixer we've done so far in this series. I raised these walls up a little bit more because there are mosquitoes up above me, so I don't know if they're gonna get involved, but I'm kind of hoping these higher walls deter them from just <laughs> flying over, but I doubt it. I really hope they don't get involved because I really don't wanna build a roof. If they do, we will have to focus them immediately. I have no idea what else will be coming in this super mixer raid and we also did not get our assassin to level three yet but that's okay we'll just use it at two no big deal and if things start going south i do have the power droplet so we can just switch to the power droplet if we need to and switch out our mutations and just start punching things so that's the game plan so i guess we're just gonna see how this goes Oh, we immediately have some roly-polies. Okay. Uh. 
Ouch. That was a lot of damage. Ow. I gotta be more careful. Hey. Ow. Those wings I hear? I really hope not. Please just be the mosquito up there. Please don't come join this. It's also getting a bit dark. I'm probably going to have to adjust the lighting in post. I didn't realize how late it was getting in game. Hello, folks. Oh, that's a lot more than I thought there were. out of here. Ow! Oh! Got two roly polies and I can't see. It's so dark. Gosh, I almost died. <laughs> oh. oh my god, there goes one, finally. Okay, there goes two. Now our base is being attacked for sure. Oh my gosh, there's already another roly poly. I'm not ready. Oh my god, that probably would have killed me. Well, thank you, roly poly. Ow. I gotta get up here and stop some of this going on. Takes care of some of that. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. Okay, roly polies are dead. Oh, and I'm almost dead. Just die. <laughs> oh, goodness. That was rough. Also, didn't help that I couldn't see anything. Nice. So, one thing we have yet to do is craft this assassin's mask. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to upgrade it as much as I possibly can, which is level 9. I guess so. And the reason I wanted to craft the Assassin's Mask is because I'm super curious to how all the bleed damage is going to stack and how it's going to work, or how well it's going to work, I suppose. Of course, getting Assassin all the way to tier 3 so it can unlock the mastery bonus is probably where it's going to shine most. Because the gear comes with Cutman which your critical hits cause enemies to bleed. An assassin, when we get it mastered, the mastery bonus, attacks with daggers rip open new opportunities, increasing damage enemies take from bleed 
effects. So Cutman should be incredible with Assassin maxed out. And anyway, we can't be that far off from Assassin Tier 3 or Phase 3. So I grabbed two Splat Bursts and we're going to head back to that little cave so we can get up there and grab that materials and the Mega Milk Molar. And then we'll probably just run around, beat things up and see if we can't get to Assassin Tier 3. Hello, Black Ox Beetle. Come on in. Oh. Oh wow, look at that bleed damage. That's pretty nice. Oh my gosh. And the crit stun. Wow. I mean, honestly, I don't expect this build to do as well as the poison build or the little fist build, but it, it just seems like a lot of fun to me. So I really want to get Assassin to tier three and try it out. Assassin tier three, let's go. I'm so glad we came back in here. Although I really got to stop just not even trying to block. <laughs> I can't even block anything. Screw it. You're all dead. I don't have any heals. We're just going nuts. That takes care of that. High density. Some bandages. Thanks. I just ran around in a circle. Hello. Try out my assassin tier three. Goodbye. Hello. You too, huh? You're dead. See you later. Oh, a scarab. Can this thing one shot a scarab? Oh, it sure can. Thanks. Goodbye. You too, huh? I just instantly crit you. I hit you with one attack. <laughs> See you later. That was like one attack or two. I can't remember. But I crit him once and then he just died. And now you're dead. Hello, ladybirds. Good luck. Oh. Yeah, y'all just bump into each other. See you later. Easy. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is in the last episode, we left one Black Widow alive. Oh, hello. Nope. Nope. Goodbye. As I was saying, in the last episode, we left one Black Widow alive. And although they are resistant to poison, I think we run in there with this bleed build and just see how it does. Because to my knowledge, they are not resistant to bleed. I can never find this place. Should be over here somewhere. There it is. So yeah, it could be a lot of fun to just watch the Black Widow bleed. That sounds super dark. So all I have in the way of heals is one aphid roast, one weevil roast, and one bandage. So we kind of got to do this right. And I don't have much hope that that's going to happen. But I'm going to give it my best shot. We've got basically all the same statuses. We have poison resist, cardio fan, the crit, assassin, and parry master. So I'm going to apply a bandage and let's hope for the best.
How did you miss? I mean, I'm glad you did, because pretty sure I missed on that block. Oh, and you're stunned, and it's over for you. You can't, yeah, it's done. Goodbye. Woo. Went into super focus mode on that one. Because usually when I come and fight these Black Widows, I have a whole bunch of heals on me. That was exciting. So I need to grab more clay so I can make more healing smoothies. Which, there's plenty of clay down here at the bottom of the pond. However, there's also this location down here that I have neglected to go in this entire playthrough. And I honestly don't even remember what's down here. Some raw science. And a whole bunch of sturdy marble. My bad. Oh, please don't eat me, fish. Please don't eat me. Thank you. Now, same thing as with the Black Widow. I really want to see how this bleed does against the infected wolf spider. Right after I equip the right shoes. Come back here. Stop. Yep. Come down here. Come on. Where are you going? What? Ow. Oh, God, that does so much damage. <laughs> Ow. Oh my goodness. Regardless of how easy that thing might be to kill, it does an incredible amount of damage. Like, I think that's the most damage I take in one hit from anything in this game. That's insane. I'm super stoked we got Assassin to Tier 3 and we get to play with this bleed build a little bit. Well, the crit bleed build is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Maybe not as much as I enjoyed the fist build, but that's okay. It's still a whole lot of fun. But that's where I'm going to call it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, you can leave a like to let me know. And as always, the playlist will be linked in the description below. And I will see you next time.